The following is a special presentation produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, supported by the fair and their sponsors. It's time for Fair Day Live. Everything you need to know about the Erie County Fair with interesting people, places, and events at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. With that and more surprises, here is Liz Mantell. Happy Friday and welcome to Fair Day Live. It's Friday, which means you don't have to go to work today uh, because you have to kick off the weekend and come to the fair, especially because it is Fireman's Day at the fair. So let's tell you what's going on right now today at the fair. Uh, like I just said, today is Fireman's Day. Free admission to firefighters and auxiliary members with proper ID. It's also the USPS commemorative postal cancellation. You can get that from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. outside of the historical building. Also, the Erie County Fair All Ages Talent Show from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on the Tops Avenue of Flag Stage. And the Firefighters Memorial Service happens at 3 p.m. at the Fireman's Building with the Firefighters Parade happening at 6.30 p.m. in the Gusto Grandstand. And the free concert tonight is Petty Breakers at 8.30 p.m. in the Gusto Grandstand. All right, well, it is Fireman's Day today here at the fair, and we are so lucky. We have two great guests with us today. We're going to meet Glenn Sickles in a minute, but first we have to meet the star of today's show, and that is Sparky. Sparky, how are you doing today? Oh, we're doing so great. It's a beautiful day. You're kind of a staple at the fair. How long have you been coming to the fair? Oh, we've been in and out of here for about 27 years. And yeah. what, why, why are you so important at the fair, and why is today a special day to have you here? Oh, today's, today's Firefighters Day. I'm going to tell you, the, it, it, it takes all year for me to see all my family. You know, the firefighters are a big family, you know. And so it, it, it's been a whole Did you just year. wink? Did you just wink at me? Oh, yeah, I oh. always like at the pretty girls, <laughs> yeah. you know? Oh, now but, I, I see why you're such a big draw now. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I bring my friend here, Pumper. Yeah, Pumper is my fire truck. He takes me around and talks to the kids. Yeah, we talk to the kids. And, of course, we have to, you have to be, my fire truck's got red lights. Oh. You know? Oh, yeah. And we have a, we've got a siren, too. <laughs> oh, oh man, you know what that is? Uh, you know what that means? That means somebody needs help, you know? And that's what the firefighters are all about, is helping people, yeah. And then, of course, my, my big job is talking to the kids about fire prevention. Yeah, we want to prevent those fires. We don't want the little ones getting hurt. We don't want anybody to get hurt. And so, yep, and so that's my job. Down at the, down at the, the, the fireman's building, um, we talk to the kids. Quite a bit. We have a puppet program, and oh, the fireman's building also has a maze, and all the kids can go through the maze, and it's just like oh, the, what the firefighters have to go through. They also have the big boat, the cotter. They have a big, they have a display of the cotter, and a lot of old fire trucks. Yeah. Sparky, you really know your stuff, don't you? Oh, I try. I talk <laughs> a lot too, do I? You do talk a lot, yeah. but that's good. So, do you just stick to the firefighters building, or do you also go around the fair? No, usually I stay right in the building. Yeah, mostly the last couple of days because boy, it's been raining here. But, it is. But yesterday ended up being a beautiful day, and today looks like it's going to be a great day. So, Sparky, if kids come up to you and after they learn the lessons and some fire safety tips, are they allowed to take pictures with you? Oh, God, I have pictures all the time. And you know, one of the big things I really, 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 really like, I love hugs. Oh. And all the kids get a chance to give me a big hug. Boy, that's my favorite part. Well, that's good to know. Uh, he winked at me again. Uh, is it okay if I talk to your friend Glenn now? Sure. Okay. I'm going to talk to your friend Glenn. Uh, Glenn, you're kind of the, the magic behind this. Um, how, long, how, long have you been, um, how long have you been doing this? I've been, uh, I actually, I've been doing the fire prevention for 40 years. Sparky's been, been with our, our uh, program for roughly about 27 years now. And... Uh, and so yes, so Sparky's been he's been with us for for uh, on and off for 20, 27 years. He comes from a company called Robotronics. Uh, Robotronics makes all kinds of safety um, 
he makes all kinds of safety vehicles uh, to to give kids messages. Police cars. Um, they even have they have a recycled garbage can. So they do a lot of different different type of uh, uh, stuff for education and. Uh, well, I, I love that Sparky and, and you yourself are such a fixture here at the fair. Um, and so if people, if kids go, especially today, right, because it is Fireman's Day, you're going to see so many uh, firefighters and other auxiliary members here today. But if they stop by the firefighters building, it, there's really a lot to do. And today, especially um, with the parade as well, it's just a great day to come out. Yeah, it is. It's, and the other thing that's really nice, they do have the memorial. And that's one of the things that the firefighters, we're, we're a big family, and uh, to, remember, to remember our fallen firefighters, uh, no matter how they've passed, is, uh, is, it's, really, it's really nice to do. And uh, they, they've, they've put on a real nice, they put on a real nice program um, all the years that I've been here. Awesome. Well, make sure if you stop out at the fair, you see Sparky, you see Glenn, head to the firefighters building. And don't forget tonight, um, the firefighter parade is at 630 in the Gusto Grandstand and the firefighters memorial 3 p.m. in the firemen's building. And Sparky, Glenn, we love having you here and we're so excited that you were here. So um, make sure you say hi to them when you see them out at the fair. And coming up next, we got something great. So stick around. Give them a hug. Oh, OK. <laughs> Fair Day Live continues after this. Lakeshore Savings has been there for generations of Western New Yorkers. So it's our goal to make sure each new generation has the financial tools they need to thrive. From making your first deposit to financing your first business, we'll guide you with the right support. We know that achieving your financial goals requires personal attention, which is why we'll always put your needs first. Open a new LS Plus checking account and enjoy great rewards with Bazing, free for 12 months. And as new generations are born, Lakeshore Savings will be here to greet them. Every last detail considered, improved. One stitch, one load, one breakthrough at a time. Everything that matters made better. You know them by their work. They know us by ours. Everything built for those who are on to bigger things. Hey, how many pull-ups can you do? I don't know, like 25, bro? How many one-handed pull-ups can you do? At least 20. What about no-handed pull-ups? Oh. Nice. Join Crunch Fitness now. The 180th Erie County Fair welcomes. Gabriel Iglesias. I feel bad whenever I say something that, that's kind of like uh, risque. Whenever parents bring like a four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, because then I'll meet them after the show and I'm like, I am so sorry for what you heard me say. And it's always funny to see the parents say, oh, they hear worse at home. Saturday, August 10th, 8 p.m. Gusto Grandstand. Tickets on sale now at tickets.com or the fairgrounds main office. Visit ecfair.org for more details. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Now it's time to meet some of the vendors here at the fair this year. They've got some new treats and they're part of the new food fair showdown. Hi, I'm Liz Mantel with Fair Day Live. And when you think about the fair, you think about food. And this year, there's so much food at the fair, we had to go get a big fork and knife, but we're ready for the challenge. Let's go get a taste. We're here uh, with Linda and say it. Babsha's Piragi. Babsha's Piragi. All right, what do we have? Because this doesn't, this looks like more than just a Piragi. This is not your Babsha's Piragi. This is not what your grandmother made for you when you were a kid. So today we have our uh, Guinness, we have a, it's a poutine Piragi with Guinness pot roast. You're going really international. You're pulling yeah, in a exactly. lot of countries on this we're one. We're pulling some French, we're pulling some Polish in, a little bit of everything, a little bit of Irish. Uh, but it, it's basically a shredded, it's, um, the pot roast is cooked in a Guinness and coffee base with mushrooms, carrots, and herbs uh, topped with cheese curds. And that makes it officially it international, everything. Absolutely. So, okay, so what, 
what's in the pierogies? Inside the pierogi is our is a potato and cheddar. Okay. Everything everything we make is locally sourced, so we get our potatoes from local farms. Um, all of our ingredients are locally grown and raised as, as much as possible. So it's our potato cheddar pierogi with the Guinness pot roast and some cheese curds. Okay, Linda, and this is the finished product, and boy, does it look delicious. Yes, this is the finished product. So it's the potato cheddar um, pierogi. Uh, we deep fry them for the poutine so that it has that taste like a french fry. Uh, we top it with Guinness pot roast and fresh cheese curds. Well, I love it, and I can't wait to get into this and maybe also get into this Guinness. Uh, it's <laughs> all going to, I hear they go hand in hand. They it's absolutely gonna, go It's going to be delicious. Can't wait to dig in. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Salvatore from Salvatore's Pizza, and this doesn't look like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Ooh, I got eyes. <laughs> what we did is uh, we, we had three entries into the new food items for the fair. Um, I think it's important that they do this. It keeps the excitement up year in and year out to people to come to the fair and try new and different things. And as you can see, um, the quality of the new food items gets better and better. The bar gets higher and higher, which is really good because it's not just fair food, it's delicious food. So these are one of my three entries. This is a buffalo chicken stuffed banana pepper. Um, basically, we use a, uh, a, a buffalo chicken dip uh, recipe that we, we make and uh, we, we touch it up with a little bit of our own wing sauce. Um, we stuff this with a fresh uh, Hungarian wax pepper. Um, they're locally sourced. Uh, some of the peppers are very hot, some are not so hot. You could pick two peppers off the same plant and surprise, you'll see what's what. We top this with a nice mozzarella cheese, we put it through the oven and we drizzle it with some of our hot wing sauce and serve it with a delicious mozzarella stuffed garlic bread and a side of blue cheese. So let's talk about the hotness factor though. I know you said that it just depends on the pepper. You're not gonna know until you take a bite into it. So adding more hot to it, how hot are we talking here? Well, I made sure that the, the dip itself and the, and the wing sauce is of a medium uh, blend. So it's not something that you're going to, um, my, my level of a good hot is when I sweat and hiccup. I know I'm good to go. Um, this this is not going to be anywhere near there unless the pepper decides to uh, to add some. Enter blue cheese. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that we have the finished product and a couple of your other items. So let's go take a look at the finished okay. product. That sounds great. All right. All right. Here we have the finished product. We drizzled with a little hot sauce and our friend's blue cheese and that garlic bread. It looks absolutely delicious um, but you do have some other items some new uh, items this year why don't you tell us a little bit about those we do we've been participating in the healthy option choices uh, for a number of years now all, all four years um, we actually have four healthy choice options uh, on our menu um, this year's uh, healthy choice option is and again it's another gluten-free item uh, is the caprese salad as you see sliced Roman tomatoes uh, fresh mozzarella cheese, uh, fresh basil, and it's drizzled with extra virgin olive oil and a balsamic reduction. It's like summer in a bowl right there. Yeah. Nothing says summer more than yeah. this. Well, what's nice with this is you can certainly have it um, together, you know, with someone and split it and it'd be like an appetizer as, uh, as a healthy choice option or um, as a main meal. And then after you have the main meal, we got to move to the dessert, right? Right. I don't know where this goes, and it's a good choice for sure. But <laughs> so um, I came up with this. It's uh, everyone knows about a calzone. You cut it in half, looks like a half moon. So uh, I decided to call this the mezzaluna, and it is our our delicious dough baked again, and we don't have anything fried, and it's filled with our homemade uh, cream cheese strawberry filling with sliced strawberries on top folded and crimped, served on a side with some fresh strawberries and some whipped cream. I mean, you've just covered all the bases <laughs> on everything. We've got the hot, we've got the healthy, and then we've got, let's just finish all out with the sweet. Uh, you, you've covered all the bases, and I can't wait to dig into all of these, and I'm sure everyone can't wait uh, to visit you at the fair. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. As Mr. Food used to say, ooh, it's so good. We'll see you every weekday morning right here at the Erie County Fair's Cook's Kitchen and Shop.
You can vote for those new foods and your other favorite new foods on the Erie County mobile app through August 13th. They're going to announce the winner on the 15th. And coming up next, we're going to try another new food here at the fair, some hot candy apple wings. I might have just said that wrong. It doesn't matter. They're going to taste delicious. We're going to try them next. Fair Day Live continues after this. What if I was made Kane Brown, live in concert, August 12th, 8 p.m., Gusto Grandstand, Erie County Fair. Kane Brown, first artist ever atop all five Billboard country charts. Kane Brown. You never say it's over. I used to love you so Tickets are on sale now at tickets.com. Don't miss Kane Brown Live, presented by the Erie County Fair. Hey, how many pull-ups can you do? I don't know, like 25, bro? When they're hot. How many one-handed pull-ups can you do? At least 20. What about no-handed pull-ups? Oh. Oh. Nice. Join Crunch Fitness now. Every last detail considered, improved. One stitch, one load, one breakthrough at a time. Everything that matters made better. You know them by their work. They know us by ours. Everything built for those who are on to bigger things. to make excuses. Fortunately, at Madai College, we've removed the excuses. With flexible class schedules, it's never been more convenient to earn your master's degree on your own terms. Whether an MBA, organizational leadership, or master's in accounting, the excuses are gone. It's time to get to work. Madai College. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Well, it's now time for my favorite part of the show. I'm kidding, the whole show's my favorite part, but for real, we're about to eat some wings, right? Uh, we have Hannah here from BW Smoke and Barrel Barbecue. <laughs> and uh, not only are you guys a staple in Buffalo, but you're a staple here at the fair. How long have you guys been here? Yeah, we've been here for about 22 years now. Uh, our owner, Bruce Will, actually started out of his house and he actually moved here to the fair. We started in a small tent and uh, a couple years later, we became so big that the fair offered us a location right next door. Yeah, you guys have a building, which means you are legit. So you've been here, you've been pumping out food, but this year, you guys actually have a new item. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Absolutely, so this is our hot candy smoked wings. Uh, like you said, they're a new menu item. Um, what we do with our wings, it's a take on on a classic buffalo wing with a little bit of a fair twist. Um, it combines that, like I said, the classic buffalo taste with that candy apple fair staple. Um, what we do is we take our wings, we smoke them for a little bit, um, and then we put our signature rub on it. Um, the only thing I can tell you, I got a little bit of that cherry rub, cherry mm -hmm. flavor, okay. uh, which is new this year. Um, and then once they're covered in the rub, we fry them as always, uh, get them nice and crispy, and toss them in that candy apple sauce, which will give it a little bit of a sweet flavor. Did you, so you made make the wings too you don't just sell them right exactly so what's the secret then to frying a good wing frying a good wing so we keep them down there uh, you got to make sure you give them a good shake but again keeping them in for a couple minutes get them nice and crispy and golden now when you guys are thinking of new flavors are you ever scared because the wing is sacred in buffalo and we have a lot of traditionalists so when people kind of get crazy do you have to keep that in mind or do you guys literally just throw wings to the wall and see, see what sticks. Absolutely. We do um, actually offer at our restaurant location. We're on the corner of Lake and Abbott. We do the classic buffalo wings. We also have barbecue smoked wings. Um, but, you know, Bruce, our owner, he's always trying to come up with some different things, you know, test the waters, especially here at the fair. There's such a great crowd to try everything out. And that's kind of how these came about. Should we try some of these? Absolutely. absolutely. All right. Are you going to try one with me? I am. And All I right. got to get the blue cheese out. Oh, you're going to use blue cheese? So yep. All right. I'm just going to eat. I want to get the full flavor. And All then right. maybe I'll dip into the blue cheese. We'll see what happens. All right, so are you a flat person or are you a, you got a drum? I'm gonna go with the drum. You're gonna I'm gonna go, go with, with the, the drum. All right, All let's right. try it. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's really good. I have some <laughs> napkins here. Perfect, perfect. Um, so what I love about this is they have that glazy feeling. Mm -hmm. And when you said hot, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a kick in the pants. But the heat right. comes after. Right. So you get this sweet glaziness, and then mm -hmm. at the end you get that heat. Exactly. Mm. That's really good. Are yeah. you guys going to offer these only at the fair? No, so we're actually bringing them to our restaurant as well. You can stop in, like I said, it's 5007 Lake Avenue, um, right on the corner of Abbott, so we're near the stadium, which is always a perfect game day option um, with our wings. Like I said, we got the classic buffalo wings, and then we have the candy apple. When you are not eating wings, which I could see you using the whole fair and just eating Absolutely. all of this food, <laughs> what do you like to sneak out and try? Oh, I definitely like to try, um, you know, ribs are always a classic staple. Um, brisket as well. I feel like that's Are you always staying a within? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I gotta right. stay loyal to the company. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I understand that. Um, okay, so we've got the hot candy uh, wings. Now, these are a new fair food, which means people can vote uh, for these in the new fair showdown. We talked about it before. If you go on the Erie County Fair app, you have till the 13th, so plenty of time to come out and try all the new foods. Make sure you head. Actually, you guys are located right next door to us at the Erie County Fair Cook's Kitchen and Shop. Um, so you can come in, get some air conditioning, watch some people cook, and then head next door and just pig out. I'm still getting the heat from the wings, which I really, it's not overpowering <laughs> right, though, right. which is really important. And the fact that you guys smoke them as well, right. it's really hard to replicate that flavor unless you're actually smoking them. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so obviously they're gonna come and they're gonna try the new, they're gonna try the wings. You have to try them. What else is, what's what's the hot item that you guys sell yeah. every year? So I'd say um, absolutely the chicken ribs is something we're absolutely known for. Um, in fact, we get a lot of our customers coming into the restaurant on Wednesdays. We have all-you-can-eat rib night, so they come from the fair. Um, other than the <laughs> chicken and ribs, I'd say the pork sandwich is absolutely mm. a big staple. I like that you said people fill up at the fair, yeah. and then they come for uh -huh. more. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, we're so excited that you guys came today um, because you brought me food, yeah. of course. Uh, but that you guys are here at the fair. I think one of the great things are all the traditions that this fair has, and they have so many. So the fact that there are vendors that have been here for so long, it really, I mean, you map out, you come to the fair and you're like, okay, well, before we do anything else, I have to hit this, 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 and this, or it's not a day at the fair. All right, so here's your chance to tell people to vote for these. In the, in the new showdown, so tell them, tell them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guys, download the Fairgrounds app and give us a vote for BW's Barbecue, the hot candy smoked wings. Ah, they're so delicious. Should we <laughs> should we spend the rest of this time just making them watch us eat? I think so. Is that what you wanna do? <laughs> All right, no. Make sure you stop by BW's, try these wings. They are so delicious, even this early in the morning. I could eat them all day for sure. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're gonna wrap up the show and for the rest of this time, I'm just gonna eat. All right, here we go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Fair Day Live continues after this. Lakeshore Savings has been there for generations of Western New Yorkers. So it's our goal to make sure each new generation has the financial tools they need to thrive. From making your first deposit to financing your first business, we'll guide you with the right support. We know that achieving your financial goals requires personal attention, which is why we'll always put your needs first. Open a new LS Plus checking account and enjoy great rewards with Bazing, free for 12 months. And as new generations are born, Lakeshore Savings will be here to greet them. Every last detail considered improved. One stitch, one load, one breakthrough at a time. Everything that matters made better. You know them by their work. They know us by ours. Everything built for those who are on to bigger things. Hey, how many pulps can you do? I don't know, like. 25, bro? How many one-handed pull-ups can you do? At least 20. What about no-handed pull-ups? Oh. Nice. Join Crunch Fitness now. 
the 180th Erie County Fair welcomes Gaverly Glacius. I feel bad whenever I say something that, that's kind of like uh, risque. Whenever parents bring like a four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, because then I'll meet them after the show and I'm like, I am so sorry for what you heard me say. And it's always funny to see the parents say, oh, they hear worse at home. Saturday, August 10th, 8 p.m. Gusto Grandstand. Tickets on sale now at tickets.com. With the fairgrounds main office, visit ecfair.org for more details. Welcome back to Fair Day Live. Well, thanks for joining us today. In case you forgot, here's what's going on today at the fair. It is Fireman's Day, which means free admission to firefighters and auxiliary members, but you need to have your proper ID. Also, the USPS commemorative postal cancellation. You can grab that stamp from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's outside of the historical building. And this is for everyone in the family. It's the Erie County Fair All Ages Talent Show from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on the Tops Avenue of Flag Stage. And of course, that Firefighters Memorial Service. That happens at 3 p.m. at the Firemen's Building with the Firefighters Parade at 6.30 in the Gusto Grandstand. And the free concert tonight is the Petty Breakers. That's 8.30 p.m. in the Gusto Grandstand. And it is a really special day. Uh, all the heroes from around uh, the area get to come in, so make sure when you come in, you do, if you see the if you see a firefighter, tell them thank you. Make sure you go over and check out the firefighters building as well. Don't forget about that memorial service, 3 p.m. And of course, the firefighters parade tonight in the Gusto Grandstand, 6.30 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a great day. This is always such a fun time at the fair because you really get to see everyone uh, come out that is out there every single day working to make sure you are safe. We also want to thank all of our guests on the show today, including Hannah from BWs. <laughs> and thank you for bringing the wings as always. And is it okay? Is it okay if I have another one? Oh, of course, go for all it. Right. They're all yours. All right. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, we're here every morning, 8.30, right here in the Erie County Fair Cooks Kitchen and Shop. You can stop in through the day and see live performances, uh, cook recipes, all that good stuff, and get some air conditioner. And we're here every morning at 8.30 for Fair Day Live, so we'll see you tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, how's my boat? <laughs> Liz Mantel appears through the courtesy of Medai College in Buffalo. The preceding presentation was produced by WBBZ-TV in partnership with the Erie County Fair, who paid a production fee for the program with sponsor support.